So it looks like someone over at CD Projekt Red is a mind reader and they made a collective decision to slightly derail my original video plans for today. I did have a whole video planned about uh, going over or not going over, but uh, I had an original video planned for going more in depth on uh, Cyberpunk 2077 versus Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War because I, over the past couple of weeks, I noticed a pretty good spike in views and a few comments. Thank you so much, everyone, for leaving those, leaving a few likes and everything. I honestly really appreciate it and never expected that video to quote unquote go viral, which I know like 160 something views is nowhere close to viral, but for this channel it is. But, you know, I was gonna. I was gonna respond to you know some of your comments like cyber is supposed to be multi but that's after launch 2021 supposedly or have a multi option or which do I get is my dilemma right now I have money in my PlayStation account and I'm trying to decide uh, I'm a huge fan of COD zombies or sorry I'm a huge fan of COD and zombies in the campaign but I want to experience cyberpunk as well but I can only buy one game next month someone please help me also, you've inspired me to try to get back into YouTube. Do you have any advice on how to start? Which I replied to. And then at the bottom, we got a we got a single yo. Thank you for that. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for all the comments. It really means a lot. Um, and I was going to respond to those. But it turns out that probably about six hours ago today, uh, Cyberpunk actually, or not Cyberpunk, but CD Projekt Red came out with a statement. And unfortunately, Fortunately, everybody, Cyberpunk 2077 is being delayed for a third time. Not, not as long though, for less than a month. But they released a statement uh, with it, and I will read it verbatim as follows. I'll throw it up on screen as well. Hey everyone, today we've decided to move the release date of Cyberpunk 2077 by 21 days. The new release date is December 10th. Most likely, there are many emotions and questions in your heads. So first and foremost, please accept our humble apologies. The biggest chain, the biggest challenge for us right now is shipping the game on current gen, next gen, and PC at the same time, which re which requires us to prepare and test nine versions of it: Xbox One X compatibility on Xbox Series S, X, PS4, PS4 Pro compatibility on PS5, PC, and Stadia. While working from home since Cyberpunk 2077 evolved towards towards almost being a next-gen title somewhere along the way, we need to make sure everything works well and every version runs smoothly. We are aware it might seem unrealistic when someone says that 21 days can make any difference in such a massive and complex game, but we really do. Some of you might also be wondering what these words mean in light of us saying we achieved Gold Master some time ago. Passing certification or quote going gold means the game is ready can be completed and has all content in it But it doesn't mean we stop working on it and raising the quality bar on the contrary This is the time where many improvements are being made which will then be distributed via a day zero patch This is the time period we under calculated we feel we have an amazing game on our hands and we are willing to make every decision, even the hardest ones, if it ultimately leads to you getting a video game you'll fall in love with. Yours, Adam and Marson. I'm not going to try to read those last names because I would butcher them. But yeah, they released that statement and my initial reaction was both good and bad. The good is they're making the game the best it can be. They're, they're valuing us choosing their game over other games releasing within the same time frame. Um, and also taking the time to further optimize the game for all platforms. I mean, from, from their words, they're trying to release it across nine platforms. Nine platforms. Which the next gen versions, I don't believe, are going to be coming out right when the consoles do. It's going to take a while. But even still... Usually developers have just PS4, Xbox, uh, what is it, Xbox One X, and PC. Three, three things. 
sometimes a fourth being the switch nintendo switch um like dead by daylight for example but anyways they uh so they're taking the time to further optimize the game also as far as i'm aware there's not going to be any microtransactions in the game at all not saying there won't be any down the line but that's at least good again um, and also it's gonna they're they're making it a very dense game ex explorable both horizontally and vertically they have said that a lot of floors in buildings contain things to do side quests small collectible side objectives uh, npcs to talk to things like that so i while yes it's sad that they've delayed the game by 21 days and it's their third delay now it's good that they are trying to value us as consumers and making sure that we get a game that is worth the 60 bucks that a lot of us work hard to get but on the flip side the bad news the the original concept trailer for this game was released about seven years ago and obviously for a concept trailer they had to have been working on it prior so this game has been in pre-production stage and in development for prob i'm gonna say close to like eight years maybe even more so just a few years short of a decade and i didn't read too much into it but i know that a lot of various core mechanics were either changed or uh, removed since the original like core conception um, i think they said something about like dual wield melee um, various like maybe driving shooting mechanics that some people weren't happy about the the other bad thing is that they soon after their second delay they when it was coming down to about a month before release the developers uh said that they were working overtime just to like polish and fix tiny bugs that were left in the game but they also said in like a sub statement that i found earlier as well that they're putting in extra overtime to work on current gen versions of the game which by that they meant they, they might be doing what Treyarch had to do for Black Ops 3 with Shadows of Evil. Shadows of Evil was a very, a very detailed, pretty big zombies map. And so for the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions, they had to literally take all the textures, lower the resolutions. They had to remove stuff that wasn't required for like the lore of the game and everything like that. They had to basically make it very bare bones. Which was still a fine experience. I tried it and it wasn't bad. It was just not all pretty looking. So if CD Projekt Red has to cut a few corners to make the game playable and enjoyable on PS4, Xbox One X, and even like lower end PCs. Like for instance, my gaming laptop has a 1050 Ti in it, which is above the minimum requirements, but still even the minimum that's you're talking bare minimum which i'll throw those up on screen as well the minimum and recommended pc specs just for you pc gamers out there who might be wondering if your system can run cyberpunk when it launches and my my other thought was was oh well shoot since cd project red is delaying the game to december then how is this going to affect black ops cold war now, it could affect it in, uh, it probably will affect it in a very good way. And by that, I mean two heavy hitting games that are polar opposites. One strictly single player, the other's basically strictly multiplayer besides the campaign. But they will still, uh, they, they, they were still going to fight for purchases and competition either way. But but back, back when cyberpunk was releasing in november i kept thinking would you rather buy a game that's basically basically a copy paste but you know exactly what you're getting i'm talking about call of duty of course we know kind of what it's going to be every year it's the same thing just different elements and reskins and also the game granted the game has no paid dlc now but it has microtransactions 
COD is thriving off the microtransactions. That's how they're going to be able to give the zombies content over the initial launch here. That's how they're going to be able to give it all uh, for free for everyone. Also, uh, Cyberpunk is, or not Cyberpunk, uh, Cold War is going to be almost uh, close to a little over twice the storage space. Cold War is going to be about 200 gigabytes when all said and done on PC. Cyberpunk, 70 gigs, but yet it's supposed to be an incredibly dense game. And also, are you wanting to buy a game with an in-depth with an in-depth story that's had a lot of love and care put into it over the last seven years, or a game that just has your casual, you know, flashy blockbuster? campaign that claims it's cool but you know it's realistically it's blockbuster scenes that we have already seen but also on the other hand with cyberpunk the developers claim that we still know nothing about the game even though we've seen lots of gameplay and story arc elements we've seen that you can choose one of three different paths at the start of the game i think it's like the street kid the Nomad and Corporate. I believe those are the three uh, story paths that you can choose at the beginning and that dictates what area of the map you start in and it might change like your street cred, stats, things like that. It might open up different possibilities for missions and side quests. We just don't know. So let me let me know in the comments down below what you guys think both what you think of cyberpunk releasing almost a month later than it was supposed to and also let me know if you know if cyberpunk getting delayed again if it makes you nervous even more nervous for the game because it's been in development for so long or if you're happy if you're really happy that cd project red is taking the time i mean shoot they said it years ago we're releasing it when it's ready they, that, that it was from them and they're sticking to it so I'm cautiously optimistic myself but like I said let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think and also if cyberpunk wasn't to have gotten delayed which one would you pick would you pick Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War the classic first-person shooter experience that we all know and some still love or would you choose cyberpunk a totally fresh new experience that's being built by some of the best developers in the industry coming from the witcher 3 let me know i would really really like to see the comments on this one but anyways that's all from me uh, you guys have a good day or night depending on when you're watching this and I will see you guys in the next one.